Welcome back, my friends. Okay, as we all know, there is always a winner and a loser after an election. So what do you do if your choice is not the winner? Well, we have just the right expert to help us cope, University of Michigan professor David Dunning. Thank you so much for joining me, professor. How are you? Doing well, thank you for having me. Of course, okay. Professor, if our friend's choice, they did not pull out the win, how does someone begin to cope? Well, uh, you do have to remember that uh, there are winners and, and there are losers. Yes. Um, and uh, we all have to take uh, our turn uh, being either one. So uh, just remember first that there uh, will be another time mm -hmm. when someday we will be the winner. That's number one. Yeah. Uh, number two, remember there's more than one election. I mean, you may have won, uh, you may have lost uh, a certain election. Yes. Uh, let's say at the national level, but there are other level uh, uh, elections at the state level or at the local level. Um, remember, there's more than one election, uh, so you can probably find some wins that you did have. Oh, and, yeah. And 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 do remember also oh, do. that um, uh, there's always work that you can do yes. uh, to do in the future. Everything you think that's going to happen because of this election right. uh, likely won't happen. Oh. I love um, that, Professor. That is that is so positive, and that's I think we all need to keep that in mind. Now, you know, this election has really been so polarizing, divisive. Is there any way that we can kind of ease that tension? I think one thing you can do is remember that there's more to life than politics. Oh. Uh, I mean, there's family, there's work, uh, there are hobbies, there's exercise, there's socializing, and don't forget about the rest of life. Participate in that. Uh, go walk, uh, do a hobby, um, rem remember your friends, uh, be sure to do that. Oh, Professor, I love that. There's more to life than politics. I think that just helped me <laughs> relax in itself. That's a great thing. We all need to write that on our, our, our computer, our phones, everywhere. Is there anything else that you'd like to let our friends know about there? But how important is it to just relieve election anxiety? Well, uh, since the dawn of time, everybody has thought, uh, this is the last election when their candidate has lost. I've, I've certainly done it, that in the past. And uh, no one can predict the future. Maybe someday there will be the last election of our lifetime, maybe. But uh, so far it hasn't happened. So there's always another one. Um, that's the beauty of the uh, American experiment. There's always work to be done. Uh, it's always time to pick yourself up. Uh, do the things that Americans do, which is not only wait for the next election, but start working toward the next election. Participate uh, with your local election, with local politics, with local issues, state issues, national elections. Don't just watch, don't just worry, uh, be active. I love it. Be active and also the professor tells us to get involved in other activities like watching Michigan Wolverines football. And also the Lions are doing well, Michigan State. You know, there's a lot to think about. Just, I appreciate you so much with all of your great advice, Professor. Let's all try to exhale the stress and inhale peace, calm, and tolerance. Thank you, Professor. Appreciate you. Go blue. Go blue and uh, go green. Go blue and go green. I love it. See? both we can all work together in this i love it thank you so much professor my friends for more information on this topic just head on over to our hot link section on wnem.com